Hello. It's great to be able to welcome you all to Miro Next. My name is Varun, and I'm the head of products at Miro. I'm so excited to talk to you today and want to thank you for being part of the Miro community. Miro was founded just over 10 years ago, and we are now used by 99% of Fortune 100 companies, and we are ranked number one in G2's visual collaboration platform category. And today, I'm super excited to share with you that our user community is now 35 million strong. And we are so very proud of our growth and grateful for the trust that so many of you have put in us. We think it's great to have such a fast-going global community full of people who want to express themselves, learn from each other, and truly connect. Let me ask you a question. How are you feeling about this new world of work we live in? I ask because I think it can be divisive and complex, and sometimes the very opposite of the collaborative experience that we all want. In the last year, I moved around the world from California to Amsterdam and switched jobs. I was onboarded into my new role in a hybrid work world. To sum it up, it wasn't easy. Now, in 2022, hybrid is here to stay and things can be tough. For example, if you think about the time in a day, there are three distinct parts. There's work time, there's meeting time, and then there is personal time. For me, like so many of you, these times have all muddled together. What's worse, meetings are taking over our lives. There is a 150% increase in weekly meetings and a 250% increase in weekly meeting time. Meeting time is eating into both work time and personal time. So work is getting longer and personal time is getting shorter. All of which is leading to disengagement and lower productivity for our teams. Right now, I think teams want a renewed sense of connectedness in their work lives. They don't want to transact with each other to get stuff done. They want to interact. People want meaningful interactions that bring them closer together in their work, and that moves their work forward. But hybrid risks failing fundamentally to respond to this need. Right now, the mashing together of the remote work we have done over the past two years and the recent return to office-based work has resulted in a hybrid worst of both worlds. Let me tell you what I mean. Our definition of hybrid work is simple a mix of people working in distributed offices and from home. So what's going wrong? People have gone straight back to their old habits of not documenting outcomes, having side conversations in conference rooms while those on Zoom or Microsoft Teams or WebEx or Google Meet watch passively. And for those who come into the office, too often they are stuck sitting in a conference room staring at a laptop. They might as well have stayed at home and it's hard to think of a better definition of a lack of connection. What's happening is that hybrid is breeding a newly divided workforce where unhappy people work in silos, excluded physically and mentally from each other's work processes. We know that isolated teams leads to work waste, duplicating efforts and slowing down progress. Ideas get lost or hidden away in separate tools and frustrated workers feel their contributions go unheard. Silos increase the feeling of anxiety and isolation, which in turn increases the number of disengaged employees and attrition rates. In fact, among those who self-identify as disengaged, 75% are actively looking for new work. As we know, work is deeply multi-team and collaborative making a divided workforce more dangerous for companies than ever. Technology that drives collaboration and connection has gone from a good to have to an absolute must have. At Miro, we think we need a different model of working all together. One that responds to these needs of greater connectedness in a complex world. One where silos are broken down naturally and collaboratively. One that addresses both meeting time and work time. And this is our vision for Miro. We believe that humans are social species 
and that they need to interact to bring their ideas to life. We believe that visual collaboration is the cornerstone of your hybrid work stack. Visual collaboration creates a shared digital workspace for teams to move ideas forward, offering a single visual surface that unites your other tools and processes and brings teams together across the organization. Miro boards aren't just objects tied to meeting rooms. Miro is a collaborative workspace that is tied to teams. It's tied to projects and integrated with your core business processes and workflows. And integrations bring the work happening today in disjointed tools into a single workspace where people can collaborate and co-create inside and outside of meetings, regardless of where they are located. Here are the five key ingredients we think you need for a shared digital workspace. First, it delivers both synchronous and asynchronous work in a single tool. Second, it is deeply integrated with all of your tools. Next, it is extensible and customizable. It is also intuitive, inclusive, and engaging by design. And finally, it supports the full spectrum from simple to complex use cases. Let's take a closer look at how Miro supports all kinds of work. Miro flexes from the basic in-meeting brainstorming functionality you expect from a whiteboard to powerful team-specific workflows. You can use Miro for every team across the organization. In the learning and development department, enabling your workforce to be successful with the necessary skills and competence requires training and workshops. And in engineering, product, and design, Miro is at the heart of so many different product development workflows. From sprint planning to retrospectives, to PI planning to journey mapping to design workshops. And hybrid is the bedrock, the foundation on which we are building the entire visual collaboration platform. Here are three customer examples I'd like to share with you. Dropbox is the leading cloud content management company headquartered in San Francisco. They decided to go remote first during the pandemic. Remote hiring can be a headache, and so Dropbox leveraged Miro to capture the employee onboarding journey in a much more compelling and visual way. This transformed the new employee experience, wherever they are in the world, into something much more engaging and welcoming as they started their roles in the company. Another example is Under Armour, the global sports equipment company. They use Miro to deliver collaborative customer journey mapping. Under Armour wanted to track every aspect of the experience for their customers across retail stores, online, and mobile. Using Miro allows them to bring diverse thoughts into the ideation process so they can solve for the best customer experience across teams and functions. Their teams use templates to standardize the creative process, and they love how Miro helps everyone to contribute wherever they are. ProSiebenSat1 is the company behind some of the most exciting TV broadcasts in Germany, using its TV reach and advertising power. They use Miro to collaborate on the creative assets being built by their teams and to manage their production timelines. On Miro, they are able to seamlessly add photos, video clips, and other assets into a board to build context and communicate the big picture throughout the creative process. This means they can drive the creative process forward faster, breaking down silos with access to all of their content in one single collaborative workspace. So what does this all result in? a highly engaged and productive workforce, and data from Gallup tells us that a highly engaged workforce leads to higher profitability for your business. Now, let's move to the bit I love the most, telling you about all the things that we have in store for you. Today, we're going to tell you about three things. First, how to transform hybrid work with synchronous and asynchronous collaborative experiences. Second, how we drive collaborative work for product development teams. And finally, 
how our platform enables every company to integrate and extend Miro into their core business processes. Let's start by talking about how we are tackling hybrid meetings. We've been talking about how meeting time is a real problem in the new hybrid world. One big challenge we hear from our customers is how to make meetings work with the rest of your hybrid tech stack. And we know that stack is complicated. Sometimes one part of your company is using WebEx and another is on Microsoft Teams. Or you do a lot of customer calls and for those, you use whatever provider your customer uses. That's why it's important for us as a platform to work well with the tools of your choice and blend into your existing or future tech stack. From video conferencing to team communication apps to hardware and devices, you and your team can work seamlessly in the office, at home, and on the go. Today, Miro integrates with the leading video conferencing providers like WebEx, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams, as well as interactive displays like those from Dell, Microsoft Surface Hub, and Cisco WebEx boards. And Miro also works on your mobile and tablet devices on Android and iOS, so you can view and edit boards on the go, whether you're running between conference rooms or commuting between cities whether you use a tablet or spontaneously take notes and sketches, or use an interactive display to turn office meetings into hybrid working sessions. You don't need to worry about whether Miro works and can connect in-room and remote employees in a digital collaborative workspace. We are building on these foundations with some new updates we're excited to share today. We know that many of you are looking to understand how Miro works on the biggest screens in your office. In fact, a recent survey of our customers showed that 44% expect to use an interactive display for collaboration in the office. Today, I'm excited to show you our upcoming native app for WebEx boards coming soon. With this app, hybrid meetings are more collaborative than ever. Let's say you're running a planning workshop to build your product roadmap for the next quarter. You have teams distributed across multiple offices and a few at home as well. When you dial into the workshop from a WebEx board, Miro can be launched through the app panel. You can select an existing board or create a new board. With a new board, you can start with a blank slate or quickly get started with one of our templates. And we've got you covered with over 250 Miro-made templates pre-designed for every team and activity. Or you can take advantage of the over 1,000 community templates available from thought leaders, partners, and Miro customers, including Salesforce and Deloitte in the Miroverse. To talk more about our amazing partnership with Cisco, I'm excited to welcome Jitu Patel EVP and General Manager of the Security and Collaboration Business. Welcome, Jitu. Jitu, thanks so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to have the opportunity to discuss your perspective on hybrid work and how the partnership between Miro and Cisco is going to help our joint customers. Welcome. Maroon, I'm pumped, man, and congratulations on Miro Next. It seems like this is uh, the first of a uh, very, very large uh, future conference that I, I foresee. So congratulations on all that you folks are doing there. As you know, we've been partnering for quite a while and we've seen some really great examples of our product integrations. But before we dive into that, I would love to start by hearing how you have been thinking about the future of work. In particular, what's your take on the problems associated with hybrid work? You know, we've been thinking about this quite a bit. So we, we do believe that the future of work is going to be hybrid. And in fact, the one thing that the past two years have taught us is that geography should not have as much importance placed on it as we have over the course of the past 50 years, or 100 years, or you know, since, uh, since, since civilization started. So uh, the future of work is going to be hybrid, which means that people are going to work in mixed mode. Sometimes they'll work in the office, sometimes they'll work at home, sometimes somewhere in the middle. But the, the thing that's interesting is hybrid work is going to be harder than when everyone worked in the office or when everyone worked at home. And frankly, today, uh, let's just be honest, it doesn't work. Because if you think about it, if there's four people in a conference room, three people not in a conference room, there's few 
structural pieces uh, from both a technology standpoint as well as a cultural standpoint because of which the interaction actually is subpar. And so let me just explain that to you. So let's say that there's four people in a conference room. What's the first thing people do when they're in a conference room together? They get up and they start drawing on a whiteboard, right? Uh, but the three people that aren't in the conference room now have no idea what's going on, which is why our partnership is so important. The second area is, well, I can't see you and I can't see your facial expressions because you're sitting all the way at the back. And that actually has, um, you know, I'm, I'm not able to see you as well. I don't, I don't see your body language. I don't see your facial expressions. So if I'm someone who's remote, I now feel left out. I feel like I don't have a seat at the table. Um, I don't feel included in the conversation. And then the third one is audio. You know, if I'm at a varying distance from the microphone, you might not hear me as well. Uh, and so these are hard computer science problems to solve, which we have actually solved over time. Um, and working with you is super exciting on this because once we crack the code on this and once hybrid work works, you can fundamentally change the way that society operates. And, you know, 3 billion digital workers on the planet can operate regardless of geography, regardless of language preference, regardless of personality type and participate in the global economy. And that's exciting. That's great, Jitu. I couldn't agree more with you that hybrid is breeding a newly divided workforce and it's up to our companies to deliver what the future is going to look like. So on that point, can you talk a little bit more about the WebEx and Miro partnership and how our technologies work together to solve some of these problems? Look, firstly, let me just start by congratulating you folks at Miro. I think you've done a fantastic job. You've built a great product, which is the soul of a company. You have to build a great product, but then on top of building a great product, you've actually been able to get it in the hands of lots of people. And, um, you know, uh, Varun, you and I have worked, uh, this is our third stint together. You actually worked uh, with me at EMC. We worked together at Box. Um, I invested in your company. And then over here, we're partnering together. And they are lucky to have you. One of the things that I've seen, though, is the ecosystem has to start thinking about this uh, as not a zero-sum game. And I think what we've actually had right from the beginning because of the mutual trust that we have between the two companies is we um, believe that the way that whiteboarding and canvassing should go should be an extension of when people are interacting. So whether it be in a meeting that you want to make sure that your whiteboard gets brought in or you happen to be in a whiteboard and you want to make sure that um, there's um, you know people and collaboration that's happening with them where you can see video. Those two things aren't two distinctly different things, and we shouldn't operate as though we are two separate companies when it comes to that. We have to operate with the experience seems very fused, right? And um, what we've done with integrating uh, WebEx with Miro um, bi-directionally is, is actually super exciting. And uh, I think we're just getting started. So I think taking out the friction and chipping away the friction and taking it out for the user and making sure that we have this delightful experience that can happen where you don't feel the distance is in my mind, um, you know, the biggest potential that we have between the two of us. And we owe it to our customers who've invested in both of us to make sure that we actually work seamlessly together between our technologies, even if there might be an element where, where there's a competitive element. I don't think that actually matters because if the customer's chosen to use Miro and the customer's chosen to use WebEx, we will commit to make sure that they have a world-class experience between those two technologies working well together. That's great, Jitu. I completely agree. We need to put the customer first and then design the experience uh, around them. Jitu, what are you most excited in terms of what's coming next from Miro and Webex together? Yeah, and you know, most people might not know this, but you and Andre and I and some of the product team, we talk about um, experiences all the time. And most of the time when we talk, we're just talking about what's the small little friction that we can take off. So the first thing I'm excited about is how do we create friction-free environments where people can ideate and people can actually operate together where they don't feel the distance when they're working in hybrid mode? So that's number one, is take out the friction, the small little things that you can keep chipping away at. And then the second one is the power of the ecosystem where we need to make sure that a collective uh, set of technologies that people use feel like one and feel like a singular experience and feel like it just gets... Um, it's a very fluid kind of uh, journey for the user. And uh, this is going to require some big projects, which are going to take some, you know, big effort and heavy lifting. And it's going to require some small projects where you just keep chipping away at the friction. And I'm excited that we actually are able to operate at both those levels between our two companies. So um, I feel like this is just the beginning and uh, super excited about what you folks are doing. 
You've got our support and um, we're going to be there side by side with you and cheering you on for um, all the things that you're doing for customers jointly for both our customers. Awesome. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and thank you for all the support we get from the Cisco team. I could not be more excited about the future and what the joint teams are going to deliver. Now, let me hand it over to Bree, Miro's Head of Product Marketing, to share more. Thanks, Varun. As Varun mentioned, you shouldn't have to think twice about whether Miro fits in with the rest of your hybrid work tech stack. It should just work. So let's hear from one of Google's product leaders about how Google and Miro are working together to unlock new ways for your teams to collaborate visually from anywhere. Thanks, Bree. I'm thrilled to be able to join you at Miro next and share how Google and Miro are leaning in to support the needs of hybrid work. As everyone is seeing, hybrid work is here to stay. In research we conducted with Economist Impact, we saw that 75% of respondents said hybrid, flexible work will be a standard practice within their organization in the coming three years. Based on this research and our own experiences at Google, we believe collaboration equity, ensuring all voices are heard and valued, remains a major challenge in this new model. To be sustainable, we must reimagine how we combine physical spaces with digital tools to build productive, immersive experiences that meet the needs of remote and in-person employees equally. And that's especially challenging for ideation and brainstorming activities that have historically taken place around a physical whiteboard, but are now occurring across physical locations, time zones, and flexible work schedules. Since Miro and Google announced our partnership last year, we've been hard at work to help address this challenge with a great visual collaboration experience for our joint customers. Our goal is to bring Miro's whiteboarding capabilities into Google Workspace, making it easier for teams to ideate and co-create in real time. The Miro app for Google Workspace is the first third-party visual collaboration application that will connect your Google Calendar, Google Meet, and more. So you can bring the app you use every day to your Google Workspace experience. And this integration with Miro is great news for Google Workspace customers because they now have more flexibility and options for digital whiteboarding in addition to our Jamboard app. We've already delivered the Miro add-on for Google Calendar, and very soon, you'll be able to start a Miro board directly from within Google Meet. By bringing together helpful tools to boost engagement and creativity in meetings, workshops, design sprints, and more, this integration with Miro will give our 3 billion workspace users a flexible solution, especially for the hybrid work environment. We look forward to the continued partnership with Miro and helping our customers transition to hybrid. Using a Miro board in Google Meet couldn't be easier, and now I'm going to hand it back to Bree to show us how the integration works. Amazing insights, thanks so much. There are so many ways that we're already working together. I'm excited to share more about how Google and Miro work together to unlock new ways for your teams to collaborate visually from anywhere. Already today, you can import existing Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides onto Miro boards so that your team can have a living visual hub of their shared resources. This allows you to draw, diagram, add text and shapes to connect the dots between your work. You can also edit these docs directly in the Miro board without worrying about keeping your changes in sync. Earlier this year, we announced our new Google Calendar add-on, so you can easily attach a Miro board to calendar invites. The Miro board is shared with all event guests who are part of the Miro team automatically, or attendees can be added as guests if they aren't on your team. This helps make sure everyone is on the same page before they walk into the meeting. No more, can you send me a link to the board messages? Today, we're excited to preview the latest update in our partnership with Google, our Miro app for Google Meet. With this integration, in-meeting collaboration is just a few clicks away. From the Activities panel in Google Meet, you'll be able to quickly launch Miro. You can select an existing board or create a new board and share it with your teammates, whether they have a Miro account or not. You can even quickly open the Miro board you've attached to the Google Calendar invite. Once your board is all set up, you can invite participants to collaborate with you without ever having to leave Google Meet. The new Miro app for Google Meet is coming soon, and you can sign up to learn more at miro.com next. So you've heard about how to get Miro working with your meeting software and hardware, but what actually happens in those meetings? Well, at least for me, a lot of the meetings I sit through are presentations. And at Miro, we believe those presentations should be interactive ones. When we go out and talk to customers about what's great and what's hard about presenting in Miro, we hear a few things that they're looking for help with. First, how to keep those presentations looking professional and polished without spending too much time preparing. Second, how to navigate the board easily during a presentation. 
And third, how to keep presentations engaging and delightful for everyone in the meeting. So let's talk about some of the updates we're making to address these topics. First, we know that time is precious and spending too much time on formatting and tweaking Miro boards is just taking away from other important things. We're excited to share a number of updates we're making to save you time making beautiful interactive presentations in Miro. Already today, frames are a great way to structure content on your Miro board into a presentation. You can organize content on Miro's infinite canvas in the way that makes sense for your team. Starting today, it's faster than ever to resize frames to fit the content on your board. Now you can quickly change the size of any frame by dragging the edge. And now Miro frames aren't transparent by default, their background color is white. This means frame content is presentable and easy to read right away. But don't worry, you can still update the frame to any custom color you wish. But what makes the presentation really sing is the content inside the frame. That's why we've also made some improvements to our image experience to help you create beautiful boards. Starting today, you can quickly choose from different preset crop shapes like squares or circles to ensure your images are looking just how you want them to. New alignment guides show when you're cropping images to help you move faster while keeping the board looking great. And finally, you can easily update the placement and size of the images you're cropping without losing alignment with everything else on the board. This helps keep everything aligned in the layout you want. So now you've made a beautiful board and it's time to present. While we know it can be difficult to navigate an unstructured surface like an infinite canvas when you're presenting. To help make this easier for meeting planners, we've added a bulk select option to make it faster to manage the frames you want to present. With just a few clicks, you can select multiple frames and delete, reorder, or present them. But what's even better than you having to manually arrange the frames is for them to magically arrange themselves. Now with a single tap, Magic Organize puts your frames in the right order for presenting with a single click. The algorithm under the hood analyzes for frame board positions and recommends the right presentation order for you. You can sign up to test both Bulk Select and Magic Organize at Miro.com slash next. And once you're in the meeting, we know it can be distracting when you're trying to pay attention to a presentation and cursors and comments are blocking what you're trying to read and distracting you. So now, comments and collaborators' cursors are hidden by default in presentation mode. This makes sure things look professional when sharing out your work. We also know the best presentations and meetings are interactive ones that keep the whole team engaged. Last year at Miro Distributed, we told you about the Smart Meetings Beta, a tool for building exciting and high-impact meetings and workshops. Since that initial launch, we've been iterating and improving the experience. And today, we're excited to share a fun update to the Smart Meetings Beta. Soundboard keeps things lively in your meeting. Play appreciation when someone did a great job presenting, or use a drum roll when you're about to reveal voting results. Keep the team tuned in, regardless of if they are in a meeting room or dialed in from home with delightful moments like this. So to recap, so far we've talked about how Miro integrates seamlessly with the rest of your communication and collaboration stack. New ways we're saving teams time with improved frame and image editing and magic organize and new delightful sound effects to keep everyone tuned in, already live for our Smart Meetings beta testers. And this is just what's possible today. We're also exploring completely new ways of meeting and the possibilities that come when visual collaboration meets virtual reality. Take a look at what we've been building with our partners at Arthur Digital. trying to recreate in this hybrid world is the things that got missed in, in the transition towards digitalization, this feeling of being in the same room, the ability to you know, get 20 really smart people into the same place, 
for a workshop or a deeper meeting. And so for us, it was really important not just to recreate this, but to build these bridges to amazing tools like Miro that are, you know, so many companies worldwide use. And so we're super excited. It's really exciting to see what's possible when you bring together Miro with Arthur's cutting edge VR technology. We can't wait to unveil the next big thing we build together. So up until now, we've been talking about all of the ways Miro makes meetings work for hybrid teams. But let's cut to the chase. We know that we're spending way too much time in meetings, and sometimes we need another way to communicate. Being remote for the past few years really increased our dependence on meetings. As Varun mentioned earlier, meeting time is up and work-life balance is down across the globe. At Miro, we believe that to make hybrid work work, we need a blended model of collaboration that balances meetings with new ways for teams to connect asynchronously. And we need one product that solves for both synchronous and asynchronous ways of working. Today, we're excited to give you a very early preview of a new feature, which will allow teams to collaborate asynchronously in a more inclusive and efficient way than ever before. Soon, you'll be able to record an immersive audio or video walkthrough of your Miro board and leave it for other teammates to review. Let's take a look at how it works. Let's say you have a large Miro board for onboarding new team members. We have lots of links and images on here. When someone new joins the team, you want an easy way to orient them to the board and welcome them. They're new to the company, the team, and they may be new to the product. What if they're joining your team from a different location and time zone so that setting up an in-person meeting to kick off their first day at work just isn't possible? Well, with Miro's new feature for asynchronous collaboration, all you need to do is prepare a board, pre-record the overview, and share the board link with the newcomer. When they come to the board and play your recording, it will be as good as an in-person meeting, only better, because you're collaborating in your own time. What's really exciting is how the recording ties to the board itself. So you aren't just watching a video, you're seeing the video embedded into the Miro board being presented. This means you can pause the recording, move around the board, add a comment, and then go back to watching the video again. And if you only like to listen to podcasts on 1.5x speed, you can speed up the playback. And when you do meet your new team member for that first one-on-one, -on -one, you now have that shared context. That helps you make the most of your meeting time so you spend more time connecting and less time reading through materials together. We're excited to launch this in beta for select customers in early June. Sign up at miro.com next if you're interested in learning more. So far today, we've shown you a number of ways teams can communicate and connect both synchronously and asynchronously. But there's so much more to how teams work together in Miro. Now I'm handing it back over to Varun to talk about how we support the workflows of product development teams. Thanks, Bree. As we talked in the beginning, one of the key requirements you should have for a visual collaboration platform is that they can flex from simple use cases like meetings to more advanced use cases like scrum rituals, including sprint planning and PI planning. Today, we're excited to share some really great updates for product development teams. These teams often find themselves working in silos across product management, engineering, and design. This slows down productivity and increases mental overhead, taking away from the time everyone wants to spend solving customer problems. Miro is loved and already used by designers, engineers, and product managers to collaborate during road mapping, customer journey mapping, sprint planning, retrospectives, PI planning, wireframing, and more. Now, we are doubling down on new ways to deeply support the workflows of these teams while increasing collaboration so that silos are naturally broken down. Today, we're going to talk to you about two ways we are approaching this. First, we'll share how we are unlocking collaborative agile work. And next, we'll show you everything we're working on to improve diagramming in Miro. I'm thrilled to welcome Peter, who leads our Agile Workflows product teams to learn more. Thanks, Varun. Very excited to be talking about Agile today. As Varun mentioned, we hear from customers all the time about how Agile practices are being incorporated into more and more parts of their organization. Agile adoption has grown dramatically over the past few years. Agile also has a measurable impact on resilience. 
companies that had deployed at least two agile practices during the pandemic were 40% more likely to report an increase in productivity among remote teams than non-agile companies. For us at Miro, agile isn't something we do alone. We're thrilled to partner with the leader in this space, Atlassian. And since we launched our JIRA integration back in 2016, we've done a lot together. We're proud to count Atlassian amongst investors in Miro, and I'm excited to have Megan Cook here, who's head of product for JIRA Software, to talk about how our products work together to keep company-wide teamwork flowing and why we think that's so important. Hi, Megan, it's great to have you here. So maybe you could start by talking a little bit about how agile adoption has changed over the past two years. Yeah, great question. It's been such a roller coaster, hasn't it? Um, Agile has been gaining traction more and more as the dominant approach to software over many years. And the last two years have only solidified that further. I was just reading this state of Agile report from Digital AI, and they had found that in software teams, adoption had increased from 37% to a whopping 86% just from 2020 to 2021. Uh, and then in non-technical teams, it had doubled as well. So it just shows the incredible growth that Agile is still having. Uh, we've seen a few major shifts happening. Um, we've seen more larger organizations adopting Agile and, and starting that journey of moving the entire organization into Agile ways of working. So there's big enterprise organizations and that makes a lot of sense. Agile gives the flexibility to try things, learn, pivot when markets shift or, or things like that happen. I'm curious to see how you think that that shift to more hybrid ways of working has impacted Agile process and practice. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because, you know, at its heart, Agile is the manifesto and the principles that support that. And they actually hold up really well for teams working remotely. Um, the principles drive the business developers, that whole team, to work together daily. And that's really important when people can't be in the same room. You don't want people to feel isolated or get off track because they don't have that connection. And um, so ceremonies, you know, like those daily stand-ups where progress and blockers can be highlighted just become even more important. And other practices that people are used to doing you know, face to face need to adjust a little bit. So, you know, we found that um, maybe face to face conversations need to move to video conference uh, and need to be planned more, or teams can be in totally different time zones. And so, stand ups might need to move to different times of the day or the week so the entire team can actually get together now. Boards. Uh, digital tools become really, really important to have that work uh, where everyone can access it all the time rather than on a physical wall. And uh, chat tools like Slack can help teams have those incidental conversations still. And, and actually, uh, one of the teams that we work with in Atlassian, they've got just an open video conference room that anyone can join at any time to chat about anything on the team. So they like to create that sort of water cooler environment there still. You touched a little bit on the role that software can play. So maybe it would be good to dive a little deeper into how Jira software specifically has played a role in helping teams adjust to this hybrid world. Yeah, we, um, we saw that demand kick off straight away. So Jira software, it's always been wonderful at helping teams plan and track their work online. You can have your roadmap, your backlog, your board, your reports, they're all available at any time. And so teams can discuss work, they can share their designs, they can prioritize together and, and just do so much together digitally. And then, you know, when I was talking about synchronous and asynchronous work before, that really helps with that uh, asynchronous sharing of status at, at any time for everybody as well. Um, one of the other areas we focus on in Jira software is having that really rich ecosystem of integrations. So uh, each Jira issue can link to your commits, your pull requests, your releases, your designs. It makes it really easy for remote teams to find all the information they need. And that is really, really important when um, team members might not be working in the same time zones or might be trying to have that focus time, that meeting free time that's just kind of harder to get in that async, in that uh, hybrid world. I'd love to talk a little bit about the ways that you see Miro and Jira working together to unlock really great team collaboration. 
Yeah, we've, um, I mean, the last thing we've had so many benefits and at so many levels from using Miro. I, I think Miro is just such a wonderful way to collaborate really creatively with your team, which, which can always be hard getting that creativity and innovation back into the work. It gives the team that real freedom to collaborate however they need to. Um, before they go ahead and add that work into JIRA where there's that commitment to go ahead and execute on it. So together with JIRA, they can move seamlessly from that ideation into that execution phase. And that delivers a better customer experience faster. Um, in Miro, people from all different roles in the company can easily get together. They can collaborate, they can explore different ideas, brainstorm, pull together different pieces of information, make sure they get that really close alignment on what they need to do. That paves the way for better execution. So then in JIRA, teams can take those ideas and really make it happen. Um, they translate them into actions. Those lead to those tangible outcomes. They can reference those artifacts that were created in Miro so that that context is always just a click away. And this isn't even software teams only, right? Any, any team can do this. So how do you and your team use Miro? Yeah, so in so many different ways, actually. Um, so one thing that we were just running through recently in Atlassian, we use uh, the OKR system to set up our key results and our goals uh, quarter by quarter or for the year. And we actually use Miro to take those company goals that we're looking at and, and work out how as a department and all the teams below, how we want to feed into that and, and how we want to measure and track that. Um, we do it for brainstorming, of course, in different workshops. I think one of the more interesting things that we did recently was um, one of my team took apart a strategy that he was putting together and he put pieces of it in Miro to get feedback, to really like focus in on the right questions that he wanted asked uh, and answered by the people in the workshop. Um, and then we, we also do things like, um, like getting a bunch of different bits of feedback, theming them, pulling them apart so that we can um, work out what, how we want to prioritize those things and, and vote on the top ones. Um, and actually we ran a craft workshop in Miro as well recently. So we had, it was really fun. We had all of the different, different types of uh, research and activities that you can do as a PM um, matching with its definition. And I mean, we're talking I think we had like a hundred of these things. And so people got to match them up together in groups, talk about how they use them, um, learn about ones that they'd never heard before. So yeah, all sorts of different things that we do in Miro. Thanks so much, Megan, for sharing your perspective. We are thrilled to have such a strong partnership between Miro and Atlassian. Miro makes cross-functional collaboration easy. It keeps everyone on the same page and it connects directly to the systems that you rely on like Jira. Miro gives you a single powerful workspace for every part of your process, from ideation to delivery. You can bring people together from across the organization into a single infinite canvas to capture new ideas and prioritize them using one of our hundreds of ideation templates. You can bring designs or other documentation onto the board and break down complex ideas into smaller tasks. When it's time to shift into delivery mode, you can turn sticky notes into development tasks or user stories in just a few clicks. Our JIRA integration keeps your data in sync between Miro and JIRA in real time. If I update the JIRA issue in Miro, the engineering manager sees it updated immediately in JIRA. If an engineer or designer on my team updates an issue in JIRA, I see the update live in Miro. Now we know that not all of you use JIRA and that many of you use Microsoft products both on the desktop and in your technology stack. If that's you, I have some good news. I'm happy to announce that alongside Jira, we're releasing live sync for Azure DevOps cards in private beta today. For those of you who run your software development workflows on Azure boards, you can sign up at miro.com next to get early access. Now, Miro is going one step further. We're combining our powerful integrations with a new way to work, apps for agile. Living right within Miro, they will allow your teams to power through the most common workflows increasing speed, improving outcomes, 
making your teams happier. The first of these is for estimation. Over 80% of Agile teams do estimation, and let's face it, it's often a pretty long and boring process. Historically, you'd run an estimation session face-to-face, -face, going through each user story or task in turn, voting and agreeing an estimate as a team. In a hybrid world, participation quality goes down. It's hard to vote anonymously on a video call, and it's tough to sit through conversations you don't need to be a part of. There's a new and better way to run estimation, and I'm excited to share it with you today. Here's how it works. Select the cards that you want to estimate. Start voting. This part can be done totally asynchronously with designs on the board and comments to help team members define and clarify. Once votes are in, the team can then get together and agree estimates. As soon as you agree an estimate, it's sent directly to JIRA, so there's no need to type anything up after the meeting. The estimation app is available today in private beta and will be rolling out to more of our customers later in May. Sign up at miro.com next to learn more. Now let's switch gears and talk about diagramming. Last year at Miro Distributed, we spoke to you about why we believe diagramming is a core capability of our visual collaboration platform. On the surface, diagrams seem like simple collections of shapes, objects, and lines, but they are so much more. They help you take something complex and communicate it in a way that everyone can understand. And when your teams are scattered around the world or work cross-functionally, a common visual language can help everyone understand each other, especially when a wide set of diagrams is used across multiple functions or industries. As Varun mentioned, building diagrams is integrated into key workflows for product development teams, whether you're creating a customer journey map to build customer empathy, or creating a technical network diagram to build shared understanding across a team. Already today, Miro's all-in-one diagram maker removes the hassle of switching between diagramming and collaboration tools. It's easy and fast to build diagrams in Miro. You can ensure everything aligns with suggested corrections and multiple grid views. You can keep up the pace by creating and connecting shapes with fewer clicks. Our shapes library, flowchart, and connectors give you extensive options to visualize information. Back in October, we launched advanced shape packs for modeling languages like business process modeling notation and data flow diagram, as well as network and cloud architecture shape packs, including Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and AWS. And now, we're continuing to improve our all-in-one diagramming experience with unified modeling language and entity relationship diagram shape packs, swim lanes and call-out shapes to make sure diagrams are easy to read, and preset diagram themes and color packs to make it faster to create professional-looking diagrams. And now, I'll hand it back over to Varun to talk a bit about exciting new updates to Miro's developer platform. Thanks, Peter. I'm sure our customers will be really thrilled and excited with all the new and meaningful innovations we're launching for product development teams. So we've just taken a look at how Miro helps product teams connect and collaborate together more closely. But Miro is used by many teams across our customers, from marketing to sales to people teams. And all of the use cases we support are built on top of the Miro developer platform. Every day, we hear from customers who are interested in integrating products and tools into Miro and extending Miro into their core business processes with custom applications. I'm delighted to introduce Tor, who leads our platform product teams to discuss how Miro's developer platform empowers you and the vendors of the products you rely on. Tor? Thanks, Varun. Back in 2019, we launched the first version of the Miro developer platform. And since then, thousands of applications have been developed on Miro by partners, community developers, or for private use by our customers. In the process, we've learned a great deal about how our platform is used to unlock new use cases and workflows. Today, we're excited to announce a new next generation platform, along with several new showcase integrations from our partners. The Miro Developer Platform version 2 is a suite of frameworks, content, and services that unlock unlimited new ways to use Miro, combined with a world-class developer experience and the tools needed to deploy apps across your organization. Miro is the only visual collaboration platform that enables development of both user-facing applications and server-side integrations, combined with full enterprise readiness. Let's take a closer look, starting with our core platform frameworks. Firstly, we have our suite of REST APIs that enable development of server-side applications 
for bulk management of users and boards, for synchronizing content between Miro and other systems, and for security management. For example, you could use our APIs to automatically provision and populate a welcome board for new starters, to keep a sales pipeline dashboard in sync with data in Salesforce, or to audit board content for sensitive information. Next up, we have our web SDK, which is a JavaScript library that enables the development of apps and integrations that run within Miro itself. A web SDK-based Miro app might import content from another system onto a board, such as project proposals or UX designs, and then allow you to visualize and manage that content right there on the board. Or it might add new tools to Miro to make your meetings more enjoyable and effective, such as an interactive multiplayer game, or a tool for annotating a board with audio notes. Our third framework is our Live Embed product, which allows Miro boards to be accessed from within third-party tools. You've seen some examples of Live Embed in action today, powering our integrations with WebEx and Google Meet. And it's often also used in asynchronous contexts, such as adding Miro boards to Notion and Coda documents. These three frameworks form the foundation of the Miro developer platform. To ensure that you can rapidly unlock their potential, we've paired them with a world-class developer experience. The V2 platform has been designed from the ground up to be consistent, easy to use, and to maximize developer productivity. We've invested heavily in developer enablement, building a rich suite of interactive reference docs partnered with guides, tutorials, and tooling to get you up and running in just a few minutes. We also offer a sandboxed environment for app development and testing and ready to use sample apps on GitHub for our most popular use cases that you can build, adapt, and extend to meet the needs of your business. If you need support or inspiration when building on our platform, you can engage with our growing developer community both on our community site and on Discord and GitHub, or join one of the regular office hour sessions hosted by our developer relations team. We also understand that enterprise customers have unique needs when deploying apps and integrations across their organization, and the Miro Developer Platform V2 has been built to be enterprise ready. If there are particular apps and integrations that are key to your business workflows, be they integrations relating to your choice of SaaS tools or internally developed apps that connect to key business systems or processes, you can centrally deploy Miro apps across all teams in your organization. For example, you might pre-install apps that integrate with your messaging, video conferencing, or productivity solutions. Or you might have an internally developed private app that enforces security policies, which needs to be installed for new joiners from day one. You can also restrict employees from installing apps and integrations without review and approval. If these controls are enabled, an attempt to install an app will send a request to an admin. They can assess the suitability of the app and improve the installation only if they are comfortable with it. Once an app or integration has been developed, we offer multiple ways to distribute them. By publishing to the Miro marketplace, your app will be available to over 35 million Miro users worldwide, accessible directly from within a Miro board. Or you can distribute apps privately within your business, sharing through existing channels, such as via Confluence, Microsoft Teams, or even on a Miro board. Over the last year, we've been working closely with a number of partners as they build new integrations using the Miro Developer Platform V2, and we're excited to share these with you today. First up, I'm delighted to be joined by Ellen Frank, the VP of Product at Airtable, to show us how the Miro platform enables teams to go from ideas to outcomes. Hi, Ellen. We're thrilled to have you here. To start, can you tell us a little bit about Airtable? Thank you, first of all, for having me here, Thor and Miro. Uh, Airtable is a connected apps platform that allows companies to create workflows that modernize their business processes. So what does that mean? That means that every organization can automate the important work that underlies their uh, bringing a product, a service, a, a piece of content to market. And what makes Airtable unique compared to other low-code, no-code tools is that there is this unifying data hub so that every uh, team, every department, their data is connected to one another. So how do you see your customers using Airtable? Are there particular use cases and workflows that you're focused on? Yeah, so wherever you actually take a product or a service or a piece of content and bring it to market, uh, this is where Airtable fits in. This is where structured workflow fits in. Um, our customers are from the largest movie studios creating big budget movies 
uh, all the way down to dairy farmers automating their pipeline. Uh, and somewhere in between, you have companies that are making running shoes using Airtable. And how do you see Miro supporting those use cases? And what motivated you to build this integration with Miro? I think these two tools uh, combine together very nicely. Um, so again, on the Airtable side, you've got structured workflow. Um, but before a product is created, before in the beginning, you really have ideation, you have unstructured work, you have brainstorms and thought. And that is exactly where Miro comes in. And so now that the two are combined together, you can take that unstructured thinking, those brainstorms, and you can bring them into Airtable to structure, to work, to process, and to uh, release your, your product or content or service. And how do you think the combination of Airtable and Miro can help teams in hybrid work environments? Yes, absolutely. Uh, one thing that we've learned for ourselves as the way that Airtable works, uh, but also from our customers, is that this thing isn't going away anytime soon. The pandemic might, but the change to work, the future of work is here to stay. Um, and so in a situation where you have remote workers, where people are not all together in one building like we were a few years ago, um, tools like Airtable and Miro are well situated to help those teams to connect to one another. Miro, again, on the unstructured, on the thinking side, um, and Airtable on the process, on the release of that product to market side. Absolutely. Can you show us how it works? Absolutely. Uh, I'll turn it over to my colleague, uh, Michelle Yang, to uh, show you a demo. Thanks, Alon. While you might use Airtable to track and orchestrate your team's product development workflow, you might also use Miro to facilitate creative brainstorms and generate new ideas for next quarter's projects. Let's say you just successfully finished holding a team brainstorm for next quarter's product releases in Miro. You're left with a bunch of great ideas that you can now easily organize into frames so that you can prioritize them by high priority, medium priority, low priority, and backlog. The work doesn't stop there. Once you're done, you'll want to bring those ideas into Airtable, where you can organize them into structured data that can be plugged into your larger cross-functional workflows. Airtable's Miro integration creates a sync table that you can use to seamlessly transform these ideas into project plans. You can add additional key details like product managers and due dates. You can even tie these projects back to your existing OKRs. And as content changes are made in Miro, those updates will be automatically reflected in our table. No more manual copy and paste, and no more wondering if you're working off the most up-to-date information. With Airtable's Miro integration, it's easier than ever to connect work happening across tools and quickly move your work from ideation to execution. Back to you, Alon and Thor. All right, thanks so much, Michelle. Uh, back to you, Thor. So you can see that the Miro app for Airtable helps you capture more unstructured collaboration in Miro in a more structured tool. As another example, we often hear from project managers that they love using Smartsheet to plan projects and keep teams aligned. With the new Smartsheet integration, you can enable project managers to quickly transition from brainstorming in Miro to structured task tracking in Smartsheet with just a few clicks. Earlier, we showed you the power of our integrations with agile planning tools like Jira and Azure DevOps. Our V2 platform enables that same experience for any task management tool, be it for agile, project, or strategic planning. We do this by allowing you to build app-specific Miro cards. These app cards can be used with our Kanban and user story mapping tools, just like any other card, but are branded with the logo of the tool concerned and offer custom expanded views that support editing of properties unique to that tool. I'm now joined by Brianna Ings, VP of product at ClickUp, 
to discuss their new integration with Miro cards. Hi, Brianna. Thanks so much for joining us today. Can you start by giving us an overview of ClickUp and the ways in which it is used by your customers? Yeah, and thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. So ClickUp's an all-in-one productivity platform that flexes to the way people want to work. Our mission is to make the world more productive by saving people time. And what makes us unique is that our customers use our single unified platform for all of their workplace productivity across categories. It includes project management, document collaboration, spreadsheets, goals, basically anything to be productive at work. Uh, we've been around for just over four years, proud to say that we're one of the fastest growing companies in the world. And this growth can be partly attributed to the dramatic shift the world has seen as it relates to the way that we work. So how do you see Miro used as part of those workflows? And what opportunities did you recognize from closer integration? So Miro is one of the most embedded URLs in our product, actually. It's an exceptional tool for brainstorming and getting ideas down in one location. And what we heard from our customers was that they were looking to make their ideas in Miro actionable with a direct integration. So with this partnership, Miro users can easily create ClickUp tasks out of their Miro boards, which means that the brilliant ideas that they came up with can easily get done. So the big opportunity we saw was that by combining Miro and ClickUp together, we could perfectly align on the mission to make the world more productive by connecting ideas to action. So as companies shift to a hybrid model, do you see teams developing new ways of working that could benefit from this combination of Miro and ClickUp? Oh, completely. I mean, where we collaborate, brainstorm, action our work is now done virtually more often than not. You know, it's no longer as easy as getting everyone in a room and whiteboarding together. So even when teams have the ability to meet in person, it's incredibly likely that a couple team members are going to be dialing in remotely. As such, tools have needed to evolve and become more sophisticated. And that's really where our partnership with Miro came into play. Within ClickUp, Miro users can take their Miro items, so a sticky note, shape, text box, and turn them into what we call a task. So a task is an actionable item that can take the form of a checklist, a document, a table, and that task can easily be assigned to a team member, be aligned to a due date, or be put in a sprint if you're an engineering team. Basically, any format that offers confidence that the work's going to get done and be tracked. These tasks can even be viewed in a variety of different formats, on a calendar, Gantt chart, more. And this works in reverse and well, as well as actually. So users can take the tasks from ClickUp and put them in a Miro board to tie them to other things that they might be ideating. So to make it a little bit more real, I wanted to talk through sort of three types of teams that, that will take advantage of this. We see engineering product and design teams that use Miro to map out their strategy. They sync with engineers on deployment retros. They collaborate with designers on product look and functionality and map out technical user flows. With this integration, they can now throw those ideas into ClickUp tasks in their sprint. And then another example would be service-oriented teams, like consulting firms or agencies. They may be using Miro to create in-depth flowcharts, project overviews to secure alignment with their clients prior to the execution phase of a project. And then what they'll do is they'll use the integration to create a project plan in ClickUp. And then, and then lastly, wanted to just touch on internal marketing, HR, operations types teams, these people can collaborate in Miro, maybe with creative on web UI and collateral, and then put those project details and map out OKRs in ClickUp. So you can see the connecting thread between all of these use cases is that users can go straight from ideation in Miro to execution in ClickUp without anything getting lost in translation. So can we take a look at what the Miro app for ClickUp has to offer? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to pass it over to Zach, who's one of our product managers, to show how it works. Awesome. Thanks, Brianna. Right now, we're looking at a ClickUp task. And inside this task, I have a lot of details that I'm working on with my team in order to get a Miro integration up and running. Now, one of the great things about having Miro embedded inside of ClickUp, as you can see up here, is that I can put my flowchart that I've been aligning with my stakeholders on right here in this contextual with my team so that we can turn 
our ideas into work. Now, the task I showed just a moment ago, I want to make sure I add that to the board so that we don't lose context. I can simply drag and drop, drop it onto here, change the size of it as I like, and make sure it's aligned with the area on the flowchart that makes sense. But that's not all. If I have something from my Miro board that I would like to convert into a ClickUp task, I can do that as well. So I want to make sure that this gets sent to my squad for the engineering team. I'm going to make sure to assign Henry, who's working on this. And he's already in progress to making sure it goes live, so I want to make sure that's right. And it's very urgent. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this into a task. And now everything is contextual here within ClickUp using the power of Miro. Thanks, Zach. It's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited about our partnership and the productivity that our customers are going to have in using it. You can see how the ClickUp integration uses app cards to make project planning seamless between ClickUp and Miro. But app cards are not limited to representing tasks. They can be used to represent any structured data object, such as ideas, people, or events. For example, our partner GTM Hub offers an OKR planning solution their new app for Miro enables OKRs to be drafted in Miro as sticky notes and then converted to app cards, which are automatically synchronized with GTM Hub. You can also use the Miro developer platform to build integrations within other tools. For example, our partner Unito offers a workflow management solution that provides a simple point and click interface for connecting tools across your business. Using our platform, they now enable workflows that synchronize content between Miro boards and over 30 other tools, such as Trello or HubSpot. Every integration that we have discussed will soon be available in the Miro marketplace for deployment in your Miro teams. However, the full potential of the platform is truly unlocked by developing apps for private use within your organization. This allows you to integrate with your unique stack and build apps that unlock critical workflows in your business. Let's look at some examples of how we're doing this at Miro. Suppose a member of our sales team is working on a presentation for an upcoming customer meeting. Time is tight, and they need quick access to the latest logos and brand imagery. Using this app, anyone in the company can quickly access our digital asset manager from within a Miro board. They no longer need to find the right link, download a big zip file, and then upload just the images they need to the board one by one. Instead, they can easily find what they need safe in the knowledge that those images are current. We've spoken to many companies that are keen to provide quick access to their own libraries of image assets and templates including logos, product images, and headshots. To support this, the Asset Manager app can be easily extended to support other content management solutions, such as Microsoft SharePoint, Box, Dropbox, and Google Drive. And it's not just static content that a platform app can offer. You can also visualize relationships between data in other systems, such as this example that generates an org chart from data in a spreadsheet. Or you can create content from other services and platforms, such as this app that allows anyone to quickly add sticky notes to the board from their phones using a QR code. Lastly, you can liven up your meetings with interactive icebreaker apps. Here's one we use at Miro with new starters and teams that allows everybody in a meeting to create their own avatar and add it to the board. Or if you prefer something more collaborative, why not play Wordle with your team? All of these examples were developed internally to make Miro more useful and enjoyable, and we want to offer you the same opportunity. Each of these apps will be added to our samples library on GitHub, so you can quickly adapt them for your own use or develop new apps and integrations based on them. We're excited to see what creative and innovative ideas you have for building on Miro. So to summarize, today we're launching the Miro Developer Platform V2 and several new partner integrations, including Airtable, Smartsheet, and ClickUp. This comprehensive suite of APIs and SDKs supported by a world-class developer experience is ready for the enterprise. Using our V2 platform, you can build powerful integrations with Miro and extend the capabilities to support new workflows and use cases. So please check it out at miro.com slash platform for more details. And with that, I'll hand back to Varun to wrap us up for today. Thank you, Tor. It's great to hear of so many platform innovations for our customers. I hope you will agree that today we've covered a lot of ground and announced a whole series of new capabilities and innovations. We started by telling you how to transform hybrid work with synchronous and asynchronous collaborative experiences. We then explained how we drive collaborative work for product development teams. And finally, 
we set out how our platform enables every company to integrate and extend Miro into their core business processes. Here is what we unveiled today. Our upcoming native app for WebEx boards, making hybrid meetings more collaborative than ever. Our Miro app for Google Meet, which puts in-meeting collaboration just a few clicks away. New ways to save teams time building presentations with improved frames, image editing, and magic organize. New delightful sound effects to keep everyone tuned in for smart meetings. An immersive collaborative experience in virtual reality, powered by our partner, Arthur Digital. A new way to record an immersive walkthrough of your Miro board to unleash asynchronous collaboration. Two-way sync for Microsoft's Azure DevOps cards. Our new estimation app, to help make sprint planning even more collaborative. New diagramming features to help you visualize information with even more precision. Our enterprise-ready developer platform with a world-class developer experience. And new integrations from Airtable, Smartsheet, ClickUp, GTM Hub, and Unito. And our new GitHub repository of sample apps to get you started building custom apps for your company. All of this is fundamental to our vision of giving you a shared digital workspace that can transform your business. Right now, meetings are taking over our lives, and hybrid is breeding a newly divided workforce. That means less engagement, less productivity, and less profitability. As the number one visual collaboration platform, it is our mission to break down silos and enable teams to collaborate to co-create, to move fast, and to have fun while doing it. Because that's the way we can connect as human beings. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the session and found it valuable. But please don't go anywhere just yet. We have three great breakout sessions for you. Breakout one is on security and user management. Here are insights from a panel of industry leaders from Netscope, BetterCloud, and Ana about the latest thinking on this topic. Breakout two is on accessibility. Tune into a fireside chat between Philip Strain of Miro and Sherry Brian Haver from VMware, two experts in the field of accessibility. Philip will share an inside look at Miro's approach to accessibility, and he and Sherry will discuss the importance of inclusion in building collaborative experiences. Breakout three is about hybrid workflows. Join our in-house Miro experts for advice and step-by-step -step guides on succeeding in hybrid work. It's been a real pleasure to speak to you all today. Thank you for making time and stay safe.